In our private Dream Bible spiritual study group, each of you brought a handheld mirror and you gazed into your eyes, said your name, and then you told the person in the mirror, it's my job to make you happy. Now the person in the mirror <laughs> heard what you said and responded, and the responses went something like this. You said, it's my job to make you happy. And the person in the mirror was like, no shit. Or the person in the mirror said, go ahead, I'm waiting. And at one person, at one point, the person in the mirror laughed out loud like that was a joke. <laughs> okay. So what you're trying to do is get the person in the mirror to trust you because one, trust is power. And two, the person in the mirror is your soulmate. The person in the mirror is your soulmate. You're a power couple. The two of you can do anything when you're working together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Your dream comes true when you and the person in the mirror are a team. When you don't trust yourself, neither will anyone else in this world. When you trust yourself, you become powerful and people in the world trust you. The more and more we practice our mirror work, the better and better you feel because it's so hard. It's so difficult. It dislodges your ego. Paramahansa Yogananda says, the hard core of human egotism is hardly to be dislodged except rudely. So when the universe wants to dissolve your ego, it is a rude awakening. There's no other way to do it. When you remove your ego, it, it's like the meditation we did where you unzip your human suit, your soul steps out of your body. So you want to detach your ego. You want to unzip it and step out of it so that your soul can lead your life. And think about this. Like, what has your ego gotten you? Every time you listen to your ego, which is your fear, you made a lot of mistakes. You lost money in the stock market. You trusted people who lied to you. You took a job that made you miserable. And when you remember every time you listen to your soul, you took that leap of faith, you made the best decisions of your life. You made money. You were surrounded by loving, peaceful friends. You found a job that made you really happy. The mirror work is looking at your ego, your fear, straight in the eyes and telling it, you know, you don't trust me. You're afraid of me because I'm afraid. I'm afraid of living my life because I don't know how to live my life. And all these tools and practices and relationships with your spirit guides and angels, like all the stuff we do in our church, is helping to teach us how to live our lives. So when you look in the mirror and you will see fear and, and you just keep doing this, eventually you'll see faith. Sri Bhagavan, a spiritual master in India, says, fear breaks all relationships. The fear you see in the mirror breaks your relationship to your soulmate, which is your soul self. And the mirror work is you practicing how to have a kind, loving, joyful, healthy, abundant, wealthy relationship with yourself. So remember this whole year in our church, we're focusing on you. You're not focusing on anyone else's problems. You're not focusing on what's wrong in the world. You're focusing on making your life better. This is the year of the wood dragon. It's the year to build a solid foundation for something new. That's all you're doing this year. One thing, just you. You are the solid foundation for something new. And that means every month we do a little mirror work to build the solid foundation of you. 
You have to have a solid foundation and you are the solid foundation.